so this, this is the worst scam in timeshare in Las Vegas. So watch out for this one. I'm gonna give you guys some tips and tricks on Vegas here on the channel, hope you enjoy. Make sure you like and share and comment below. Have you had a good or a bad experience at these kinds of promotions? So my name is Steven, like I mentioned, many of you may not know, I've worked for the better part of 12 years in timeshare in Las Vegas. And what I do is simple. I am a marketer and a promoter, and I send people into the tours. I solve problems for them. I give them tickets or comps, something that'll enrich their vacation. And nine times out of 10, if not 100 times out of 100 in the last few years, I've done that entirely for free, so people aren't paying out of pocket. See, the big incentive in Vegas, in most places, is you go on vacation, they offer you something that's gonna cost you a lot of money, they do it for free, you go and do your time trade-off, see the timeshare pitch, it's a nice company in most cases, this will, at least the ones that I work with are good, and at the end of the day, you get compensated for that time. The other day, I was actually um, talking to somebody who told me that they were actually paying their own hard-earned money to get tickets to a very cheap show that they could have purchased for the same amount of money, and on top of that, they were doing one of the biggest names in the industry, one of the longest tours in the industry, and one that runs the risk of having the most amount of high pressure in the industry. See, I sat down with that same company when I almost thought I wanted to go inside and sell the timeshare product and they told me flat out the average tour time at that company was not the two to three hours promised it was more like four to five so what they ended up doing was getting hoodwinked scammed they got tickets that they could have purchased for the same price at the half price ticket booth and they got those tickets by paying for those tickets and so essentially they're paying now for the opportunity to go down to a timeshare pitch where they're going to be given a hard sale for about two to three hours if not four or five and that has to be the absolute worst scam in our industry. Now there are instances and cases where you want to go to a show that's incredibly expensive. Michael Jackson 1 or MJ1, Michael Jackson 1 comes to mind. Shows like La Rev over at the Win. If you're getting a high-end show where you can whip out your phone on Vegas.com and find out it's $130 plus service taxes per ticket to go to that show and they're asking you to pay $50 or $60, go ahead and do that. Otherwise, if you're paying money for a lower end show, you are wasting your time by doing a timeshare presentation unless you're in the market to buy timeshare, in which I find most people are absolutely not. Your vacation time here in town is incredibly valuable. Remember this all the time when you have these little concessions and trade-offs. Time is a valuable limited commodity. Everybody starts off with the same 24 hours in a day and how you utilize your 24 hours is gonna be the outcome between being successful or just spinning your wheels and not having a great time. And in this case, spinning your wheels, paying cash, for tickets you could have bought for almost the same price and then doing a three hour timeshare presentation has got to be one of the absolute worst deals you can get in town. And that's my opinion on that. So, you know, if you're gonna come out here and investigate this timeshare stuff, if you're thinking about buying into one or you just wanna get some nice comps for doing it, make sure you're not paying anything unless it's a super high-end show. Make sure you're getting a good deal. I did a video that I'll link in the first comment of this and also the description about how not to get scammed on these timeshare deals in Las Vegas because there is a lot of people who will try to pull the rope, or pull the rope, pull the wool over your eyes. I guess rope would work too. And they do wanna take advantage whenever they can because the less they give you, the more they make. I covered that in the last video, so you should check that out. So what about you? Do you guys do these tours while you're on vacation? Do you think they're a waste of time? Do you have any tips or tricks that are serious, legitimate ones, not like other videos on YouTube that cover over-the-top silly ways to get out of it? Comment in the box below. I'd love to hear from you. And like, share, and subscribe if you're just browsing through. Again, I'm Steven, and I'm not leaving Las Vegas, and you're the best part of my day as always. Bye-bye.